Hello everyone! Welcome to another video. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I am going to be trying to make a game in a day. And when I say in a day, I do not mean I will be sitting at my computer for 12 hours straight. I mean as I have time to work on it today. Like for right now, I am waiting for the caffeine to kick in. And then I'm going to go do Ring Fit. You know, I got stuff to do. I'm thinking I'll probably about around 5 or 6 hours it will take me to like work on this. And it's not meant to be an amazing game. It's not meant to be a great game, a fun game, a good game. It's just meant to be a game. The reason why I'm doing this is because of uh, this right here. This game jam. I have never joined a game jam before. I have made a game in a short amount of time before, but I've never joined an actual game jam before. I never heard of those until last year. So I am planning on joining that. And I'm not making something to have a framework or anything. For one, that's against the rules. But for two, even if I want to do that, I don't know what the theme is, so I don't know what game I'm making. So that's a waste of time, even if it wasn't against the rules. I just want to see what I can get done in a couple hours and screw around with some things I wanted to try out that will not fit in the game I'm currently working on. And it's kind of just going to be like a little crash course by myself, seeing what I can figure out in a few hours, because nine days... It's longer than a lot of game jams, but also I have things to do throughout the week. <laughs> so, there's that. And also I'm not good with stress, so there's also that. But I want to do it, and this is going to be how I'm going to do it. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I will go do my ring fit, and then I will come back, and then we will get started. Okay, so, got started on this. What I did is I made some art and I wanted to play with the camera stuff and I wanted to follow a top-down character because there are multiple games I want to make that will be top-down. And yeah, I just wanted to see what would happen if I played with it. So that's pretty much all we're doing here. I made sure to make all of the art by using the mouse and the in-game engine. Otherwise, I would spend way too much time trying to make it look pretty instead of just trying to make something that works. Okay, so I have something. I don't know what the object of this game is yet. I just wanted to do some things and now I kind of come up with an idea. What do I want to do? What I've done so far is I've made a tiled sprite for the ground, the background. And I've made two different trees. Uh, lesson learned, I forgot. If you duplicate a sprite and you edit the same sprite, it edits both of them because it's considered the same thing in the base file, in the game files or something. I don't know. So I had to make two different trees. But uh, we have two different trees and we have a little player sprite and I applied the physics to them both so that way they can interact. And I have the top down behavior for the player. So this is all we have so far, but it's something. So you see, you can't walk off the screen if the trees are there. Now obviously, putting points to the trees would be better so you can like get as close as possible to the trunks and stuff. And obviously, you can just walk right off from the bottom because I haven't put trees down there yet. But I'm thinking about making this maybe like a flower picking game. I'll just get rid of this. And I also have it so it can expand regardless. So I'm having fun. This is fun. A little experiment. I did need a break from my other game that I've been working on. It's a small game gameplay wise, but it has the most things I've ever done in it. So this little test just screwing around with stuff is fun. And I don't know what kind of game I'll be making for the game jam, so if I learn a little bit about like the overhead thing and stuff, that would be useful. So in this section, I worked on making the flowers, making them interactable. I worked on closing off the scene so you can't walk off the screen. And I also tried to make some clouds that moved around in the back. It's kind of weird. They move as long as you're not moving. I think the camera and the way I have the clouds moving are colliding or what's the word? Canceling each other out or something. It's weird. But it kind of works. 
I really am liking the aesthetic of this game, even though it's not well made at all, it's quickly made. I can see this game being polished up, but keeping a pixel art type style with really cutesy proportions. We'll see. Maybe I'll actually make this into something in the future, but I actually am really liking how it's going. Okay, so I have an idea of what I want to make this game be. It's just I have no idea how to do it. Um, so let me show you what I have. So I made a tiled sprite of some clouds. So the clouds can be in the background and be moving. They kind of stop moving when I move. I'm not sure if that's because of the physics or the top down. I don't know. Um, I use physics instead of platformer because I didn't know if that would be better. I might switch to platformer and turn these into platforms and see if there is a, a difference if I prefer one or the other. Um, that being said, I have made some progress, so you can pick them up and have randomized sound. I also put the sway um, behavior on them so they're not just kind of sitting there. I gave them little faces. I'm thinking this can be a simple little game. It'll be, this is going to be a prototype. Like It's not going to be anything anyone will want to play right off the bat. But I like this idea, so maybe I'll make it into an actual game someday. Um, I want it to be, you pick these flowers and then you can go into a little house or something. I'll make a little like burrow or a little house or something for the bunny. And you can go inside and then the amount of flowers you picked, you, you can make little flower arrangements out of. Now I don't know what you're going to do with the flower arrangements, but... I don't know, it's an idea. So I want to try that out. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I do know I'm hungry, so I'm going to make me a salad and then I will go back to this. But I've only been doing this about, I would say an hour, hour and a half. And like, I mean, it's not the prettiest game in the world, but I actually think it has a little bit of a charm to it. Um. And there is a game here. I needed to be able to count how many flowers you've picked up, and that's gonna be hard because I know it's a variable, and I don't like variables. They confuse me. But, um... So far, I'm actually quite liking how this looks. <laughs> Even though it's not good artwork, I think the artwork's got a little charm to it. I think it's cute. Um, so... Let me eat my salad and then we will be back. So in this section, I made a cute little carrot house and then I played with the collisions so that way it wouldn't be a big square it would just be when you collide with the house and then I made a little separate object to be a collision to go to the next scene I know there are easier ways to do that but I haven't tried them <laughs> and after I did that I made a scene for where the bouquets will be made and all it has at this point is just a button to be able to go back but it works well enough. <laughs> okay, so got a bit of an update here. And so I have all of this is the same. I add a little carrot house. This here is a spawn. I think there's a GDevelop tutorial that will teach me how to have stuff be ordered in front and behind. I'll have to watch that because I don't know how to do it. But um, this is what I have for now. And this is all this next scene is. It's just a button. But um, we have our little uh, sounds. And we can go here. And then go back. And then it's over here. I want it 
to be you can go into a house and out of a house and it'll like just be in the right spot but when I had it before it would stay there and it would just keep going back to the other scene so I don't know how to do that also the more I work on this the more fun it's getting I kind of do want to make this into something like actually playable at some point um like I said, this is just a prototype. This is just me trying to see what can I do in a day. Um, I think I started around 1.30 and it's 3.30. So this has been about two hours if you also include that I had like a 20 minute lunch break. So uh, there's that. But um, this is what we got so far. And it does go back. It I get, At least where they've spawned, it's not so bad. Um... I do want it to be like random spawning of flowers within spawn points, but they can only spawn once. And then when you pick them up, they can spawn again at random. I'm not sure how to do that. I might come up with something. We'll see. But like I said, this is a prototype. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is just set up the next scene. And then we will work out how to get the... Um, flowers to count and then transfer over. I don't know how to do that. Oof. We'll see if I can figure it out. Because the idea is you go in here. This will be like a room. And you can have like your flowers over here and you just click and drag them. And then you can like drag a face on top or something. And I don't know what you do after that. Maybe like, I don't know, take a screenshot or something. <laughs> but um, that's the basic idea. And I'm not gonna lie. If I end up making something that kind of works and I want to make something, I will keep a pixel art style. I'll just make it look a little less messy because I actually like how cute the pixel art is. So there's that. But yeah, let's see what I come up with next. Okay, so we have made a little more progress. So what I have done is this it's gets a little bit of transparency. This is a cute little background. I might make it a little more transparent because this is kind of hard to see. Um, these are just tests for now. I want to have it spawn in the amount that is relevant to these and I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, I might not be able to get that done today, but it's a concept. So whatever um so for this part of the game there's two rotator bits and you might recognize this idea this, i used this for my pizza game so you rotate it and i didn't know you could do negative rotate i would have done that in another game i might make a separate button and when i upload to the gdevelop site but um So you can choose which way they're pointing. And I like that. So you can like make little arrangements and it's not just like stiff on top of each other. So this is what I've got. Um, if I launch from here. I 
didn't have the colors saved, so the colors don't match. Um, I'm aware of that. So, what I've done, I haven't gotten it to reference this yet to make these spawn. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. But, I have gotten it to, it will, it will change the text to which flower you pick up. Um, so we have purple flowers and pink flowers. And... I also added some outlines to things to make it a little easier to see. So if you pick up a purple flower, it picks it up. It only changes that. If it's a pink flower, I had to make a couple variables. So I'm, I'm starting to get a little more comfortable with number variables. Okay, I need to make this bigger so it doesn't look so messy. But um, I have gotten it to where it will work like that. My next thing is I need to figure out how to reference the amount of this to equal it spawning that amount here. So if I picked up 12, where's the actual thing? The 12 pink flowers, then I want to be able to have 12 pink flowers here be spawned and then you can make a flower arrangement with them. Um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how that's going to go down. Uh, we will worry about that later. Um, by later, I mean that's the next thing I need to do. But, um... We are getting somewhere, at least. I mean, small wins, right? Like, come on. Uh... We'll just see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> So I don't know what I've recorded or what I haven't recorded. But, um, so I've tried multiple ways. Each one of these would be like, like this. So you wouldn't like this, so they wouldn't be working. But I tried a bunch of them. None of these work. As you can see, I put notes. In this part, I figured out if I use a global variable, that way the number will apply to all of the scenes. I just need to make that apply to spawning. I could not figure out how to do that, even though I tried many ways, and I finally broke down and went on the form, which I don't like to do due to a previous bad experience, but I had someone super nice, and they were helping me out, and they helped me get it to work. However, that was not in the same day, so I am going to show you how far I got in the actual day, and then I'm going to show you it working with the method that I want it to work. Okay, so this is the last update for today. If I get how to do the last feature, I will record it tomorrow, what I do, but this is what we got. You can move around, there's a little carrot house, we're stuck within bounds. It's counting the flowers. Um, these I placed in, they're not spawning how I want. That's what I'm waiting for. We have this feature here. I added an outline behind the, them with the view develop. Uh, what's it called? I forget, visual effect thingy. And here's the trash can. So I learned a lot actually from doing this, it's just I'm mad that less feature doesn't work. 
But this is what I've gotten done in a day, and we will see if I get the other feature working either tonight or in the morning. And yeah, that is it, and I will update you if anything happened tomorrow. So here's what we got. I'm just going to show you what we got now because I have finished what I'm going to finish. I do love the idea, so I might make this into an actual game because this is actually fun. I don't know how big it would become. It would be an itch game, a mobile game, probably not a Steam game. Um, but let's just show you my prototype, full screen this. Okay, so you have, you can, it's top down. There's no animations. I just have the sway thing because I wanted to see how it would look. And I do like the sway. It looks nice. I like the retro kind of pixely look. That's why I just didn't bother making nice art. Oh yeah, also I want to mention, I made all this art with a mouse on purpose so I wouldn't make it perfect. Okay, so this is what we do. You pick one and then we'll pick up five. That works. Uh, I didn't make this very good. So I picked up one of them and there should be one two, two, three, and then this one's just kind of hanging out, but it counts, and then when you go back to field, and if you go back in the room, there is nothing here. But if you pick up two and go back, there are two. I wanted it to be like this, so that way it would be the amount of flowers you picked up would be the amount of flowers you have to make an arrangement. There's no other purpose to this game, so if I was to make it a full game, there would have to be a reason, like you need to fulfill orders or something. But I love the idea as a basic idea. I like the little bunny character, so I might revisit this, I might not. But at least I got to make something, and that was fun. Like I said, this is to practice for a game jam, which starts the 17th of May. Uh, so if I do do that game jam, which I'm intending to, I will try and make a video for that too, but no promises. We'll see how focused I get. But yeah, that is it for now. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this little prototype get made. And... Uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all later. Bye!